hey <laughs> i literally look like i just got hit by a bus it's like 7 30 in the morning it's 7 40 in the morning i just barely walked home for my boyfriends and i wanted to vlog today i literally have like death in my eyes. I am about to go work out. I, let me see if I can take you guys out here with the lighting being awesome. Quick shout out to The Real Real for sponsoring this video. I'll talk more about them later, but. Wearing moods. I have been working out um, five times a week, which has been really nice. And I think it's been really good for my mental health. I go to work out at eight, three times a week. So it's like getting my ass out of bed. Okay, I'm gonna go work out and I will be back and continue the rest of my day. Okay, wait, okay, before I go, <laughs> I wanted to show you guys these protein bars. They're Nugo dark chocolate mint chocolate chip. So good, I eat one of these every single day, especially before the gym, because I don't go to the gym every single day, but like, they are literally so good. I got Kennedy on them. Ow, my ass is so sore from working out. Okay, bye for real. <laughs> from my workout I stopped at the grocery store and guys be proud of me okay I stopped at the grocery store I stopped at a Whole Foods that I've like never been to before just because it was like close to the way home but I took a different way home than I usually would and I didn't even use a map I have no sense of direction like at all like my friends will literally be like oh yeah like this place on like 400 East and be like you know where that is and I'm like girl no literally don't overestimate me. I don't have any sense of direction. But yeah, I went to Whole Foods. I like never really go to Whole Foods because it's freaking expensive. And But it was just the closest place. So I stopped there. I'm gonna give you guys a little haul. I got these flowers because I really like having fresh flowers. Oh my God, my arms hurt so bad. I got some strawberries. These so delicious. Hello. These so delicious coconut milk yogurts are so good. They're the best vegan yogurts I've ever had. This is trash. I got some celery. I wanted to make a celery juice. I always buy green juices and celery juices and then I get mad at myself because I literally have a juicer that I can use. And it's so much cheaper to make your own juice. I almost bought a celery juice, but I didn't. I just bought celery instead so I can make my own. I got more of these protein bars. I literally just buy the whole box because I will eat them all. I've been trying to find um, different kinds of protein like drinks that I really like because since I'm vegetarian, I don't really get a lot of protein. And I've been talking with my trainer and she's like, yeah, you need to be like eating and drinking more protein. So I got this protein shake. I've never had this one before. Um, I'm gonna try it after. Actually, I'm gonna try it later because I need to eat breakfast and I wanna make my celery juice first. The raspberry and the lime flavor of these uh, yogurts are the best ones. Actually, they're the only ones I, no. I've had different ones, but these ones are my favorite. I got some raspberries. I got another one of these protein. Oh wait, is this the same flavor? I got a cacao bean flavor and a chocolate banana, so. And then last thing I got, I got this brand of vegan chicken nuggets. I've never tried these ones before, but these ones are really good. They're almost gone, but I really like those. I cannot wait to make my dinner tonight because I found a recipe that I really like that I will show you guys. Okay, I'm gonna make a celery juice. This doesn't even really, why do my eyes look so like? I'm like trying to think about how to explain what this tastes like. It kind of tastes like dirty water, but I did clean the celery. I just showered, if you can't tell. I'm gonna do some skincare. Um, I usually do the majority of my skincare stuff at night, but my skin just gets so, so dry in the winter that I don't know. I do a little bit more in the winter just because it literally gets so dry. And I also went to the gym, so I was sweating and stuff. Um, I keep all my elastics on this, so you can't really see it, but I'm using... Oh, and the lighting is awesome. I use a lot of Dermalogica products. I use my Function and Beauty Skin stuff. Um, I don't know. I go back and forth between, like, so many different skincare things. I think I've talked about this already, but I've been using a new mascara that's waterproof. 
and waterproof mascara is literally so hard to get off like i feel like i always have mascara under my eyes and i don't know i don't like want to scrub my eyes with anything because that's just like not good for your eyes or your eyelashes like i don't want to be ripping all my eyelashes out but i literally spent so long like trying to get all of my mascara off and it never comes off so if anyone has a good way, if anyone has a good way of how to get rid of waterproof mascara let me know i just use baby oil and that helps but it doesn't get it all the way off i don't know it's just what my mom uses so <laughs> I'm gonna use some of the serum. Um, this is a reminder for you that if you can, to put lotion on your whole body after every time you shower. I used to not do that and I've made it a habit to, like I literally force myself to because my skin is so dry. Sunscreen, I'm using the Dermalogical Clear Start uh, sunscreen. Okay, I'm gonna quickly make breakfast. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite breakfast, literally, ever i have it pretty much every day i see a lot of oatmeal slander on the internet and it makes me sad because i love oatmeal i think i used to get it at costco but i don't know if they have it anymore it's called coach's oats it's like oatmeal but better i need a wider lens sorry strawberries or whatever fruit that you like i feel like a lot of people ask me about moving out and living on my own and what it's like and hold on i feel like the hardest part of living on your own is feeding yourself because now that you live on your own you have to grocery shop so you go grocery shopping and you spend money on food but then you don't necessarily know what to make and sometimes at least for me i just get lazy so i just like want to order something or like go and get something but recently within the last like Within this last like year, like one of my New Year's resolutions has been to be better about cooking because I don't know, I'm really weird about like ingredients and stuff. I like knowing what goes into my body and like, I don't know, stuff like that. I've been trying to be more experimental with cooking and recipes and not be lazy and do stuff like meal prep, which I haven't done in like, Two weeks or something but it's a constant cycle of damn again okay i have all these strawberries cut up that and doing laundry oh my god with all that being said i do have a meal that i'm excited to cook tonight so welcome to my steel extra counter space that i bought don't come for me for stirring with a metal spoon i know it's not good but i don't want to get another dish dirty. This is so good. It's a protein powder. It's um, chocolate and peanut butter. It literally smells like a Reese's peanut butter cup. I add two scoops of this. It's also plant-based. The reason that people don't like oatmeal is because they don't do anything to it. You have to add stuff to oatmeal, whether it's fruit or protein powder or whatever you have to add stuff to make it better or else yeah it just is plain and tastes like cardboard make it look nice next is the toppings i think strawberries just goes good with oatmeal but blackberries raspberries blueberries or frozen fruit is good too because then it melts and it yeah now hemp parts and chia seeds I think these are like superfoods. These are supposed um these are supposed to be really good for you. I'm not exactly sure why, but I know they are, so I add them. I also like the texture it gives all of this. And now the final touch, peanut butter. This shit is gas. I don't care if you don't like oatmeal, it's because you don't make it right. Look how beautiful. And it's good every time. I could literally eat this for every meal. I'm gonna finish eating this, clean up, and go and get my brows laminated. This is what I'm wearing. I don't know, it kind of gives me like work uniform vibes, but I've been in this headspace where as long as I like what I'm wearing, I literally do not care. Like I'll put something on and my boyfriend will be like, mm, I don't love it. And I'm like, I literally don't care. Like I love clothes. I love getting dressed and stuff. I don't know. I'm just like feeling it. This is like tied in the back, but I got this off the real real, which I'm going to be talking about later. But it's Acne Studios and I love Acne Studios. Um, and these are from Stoss, uh, Stoss Bellet. 
is how you pronounce it. They're like really wrinkled, but I haven't accessorized yet. I don't know, I think it's cute. Okay, I wanted to show you guys my eyebrows really quick before I go. So this is before. I really like my eyebrows to be like literally insane and go straight up. They always go down and I really don't like it. Like I think when I do my makeup, I think the biggest thing that like when I do my makeup, what changes my face is when I gel my eyebrows up because when they go down, I just feel like my face just doesn't, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, this is what they look like before. Peace and love. Bye. See you when I get home. Filming on my phone, I just got my brows and lashes done and literally this is, these are like my eyelashes. I don't have like mascara or anything. I didn't even get like a tint and I feel like they look so dark. My eyebrows obviously look a little bit crazy because they need to dry like this and then I can like shape them more. Bizzo Beauty in Salt Lake is an amazing place to go to. They have the coolest studio, coolest vibes. Uh, Brittany did mine and Hannah and they are just really cool. So I love them. Guys. I have a confession. It's literally snowing outside and I'll like still sweat. That's not my confession. I was listening to g Easy in the car and I was having a really good time. If you had a g Easy phase in middle school, rise up. Who is ready for a fashion show? Because I just got a package from The Real Real. <laughs> Working with The Real Real has been one of my dream collaborations. Like the amount of times I've like asked my management, like please get me a deal with The Real Real, please get me a deal with them. Like I want to work with them so bad. And the time has finally come and I'm so excited. So I've gotten a couple other packages that I've already opened that I also want to share with you guys. I need to find everything. <laughs> So if you don't know what The Real Real is, The Real Real is a luxury confinement website, app, and like a store. They have a store in LA, two in New York, one in Brooklyn, one in San Francisco, and one in Chicago. Hopefully Salt Lake is next. <laughs> they basically just sell a bunch of luxury brands like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Reformation, um, uh, just like a bunch of different designers for 90% off retail price. They also have a team of experts who authenticates every item that is sold, which is really important because you don't wanna be buying fake luxury items that are like already pricier. And if you have items that you want to sell on The Real Real, you can also do that. There are multiple ways. One of the ways you can sell with The Real Real is to set up a virtual call. So basically you book an appointment to have a call with their like luxury managers. The second way is you can send in your items directly or three, safely dropping off your items using curbside drop off at one of The Real Real's 10 locations or stores. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys everything I got because I am literally so excited. I have gotten a few items like this shirt already. One of my favorite ways to shop on The Real Real, and this is like what I did to like get all of my items is use my Pinterest boards and find like photos of runways that I like or just pieces that I like that have the designer name in them and then just go look up the designer on the real reel and look through all of those items but if you want to go shop on the real reel you can go click the link down below and save an extra $25 and then you can get a whole 20% off with the code real okay Oh my god, these are so cute. Oh my god, I'm literally feeling like such euphoria right now. Okay, I'm gonna get everything out and style it and then show you guys so you can like see the whole picture. <laughs> okay, this is my first look, what I'm already wearing. This is an Acme Studio shirt I got from The Real Real and these are Boteca sunglasses. I like it, I don't know. I just like mixing random colors like this pink and this red, tan. I just think mixing colors is really fun, whether they're like, supposed to go together or not. I also got this Tiffany necklace from them. Okay, story time about this necklace. I have had my eye on this necklace for so long. I've had this pinned on Pinterest, I swear, for like years. I literally have the tag with this necklace open on Tiffany and I got it on the real real for cheaper than retail and I was so happy when I found it, but I just think it's literally so beautiful. Like, it's so cute. Okay, moving on. My camera's like halfway dead, so I need to hurry up. These are Valentino pants I got from the real real and these are Fendi sunglasses, I believe. Um, I don't remember where I got this bag. I'm wearing my same Tiffany necklace. This is from Moods, my friend Kennedy's brand and her siblings clothing brand. I think this would be really cute with docs too, but I don't know. I wanted to try something different with shoes. I don't really know how I really love it, but 
These pants literally fit me so well. They're not like too tight, but they're not too loose either. This next top, when I saw this, I was like, you know what? That's like really unique. It's Alexander McQueen, I think. I don't know. I just thought it was like really different. I've been really into floral recently, like older, like vintage looking florals. And this is floral. I just thought the zipper was also a really cool detail. This is like cute with this same outfit too. Maybe these same sunglasses to like tie the white in at the shoes. I don't know, maybe this will look better with some docks. Because it's a little edgier. Okay, I thought this sweater would be such a cute beach cover up. Wouldn't this be so cute? This sweater is by Rosie Ocelin. I think is how you say that. Sorry if I am wrong. Did it just get so bright? Oh my God. This next dress is the brand Zimmerman. I think it's really cute. I think it would be really cute with like platform, like brown cowboy boots and like a cute, like, I don't know. I'm getting like country vibes. I also got this cute bag from Marc Jacobs. It's bigger than I thought, but like, I don't know. It gives me like early 2000s vibes. I wouldn't wear it with this because it doesn't really match, but I don't know. I love Marc Jacobs. It's one of my favorites. I got these cute Chanel glasses. Like, look at these little details on the back. So cute. I got these pink Prada sunglasses. I need to show you these little stars on the side. Isn't that so cute? And on this side, it's these. I don't know. I think it's cute. Okay, that was all for my haul. Once again, go click the link in my bio. Not my bio. <laughs> MG, can you guys see the freckle in my eye? Uh, the link in my description to the real real to get $25 off your first purchase. Use code real to get 20% off. I feel like I'm doing like a Miranda Sings face. Did anyone else have a Miranda Sings face? Okay, bye. My friend's in there. Congratulations. <laughs> Another haul. I got this candle and I got a chocolate. I'm gonna eat this right now. No. Literally using my phone flashlight to show you guys this, but this is my dinner. I'm gonna put hot sauce on it and I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna eat. I forgot to say bye last night, so I'm saying bye. Thanks for watching, um, and thank you to The Real Real for sponsoring. Don't forget to go click on my link down below to get $25 off your first purchase, and you can also use code REAL to get 20% off your whole order. Peace and love.